Hello, I'm James Clark from King's College London, and in this quick video I'm going to show you the steps to perform an analysis in GraphPad Prism. The objective of this short video is to show you the basic steps of a workflow to perform any analysis in Prism. What's important to notice is that in GraphPad Prism, the one button labelled Analyze can perform a multitude of functions not solely limited to statistical tests. To undertake any analysis or data manipulation in PRISM, there are four simple steps. The first step is to choose the Analyze function. You can access the Analyze function from the menu bar with the icon and the word Analyze, under the Navigation panel in the Results section where you can choose New Analysis, or from the drop-down menu, in the Insert menu, you can choose New Analysis. Whichever of these you choose will result in the same box appearing on the screen. This is the Analysis Toolbox. I'm going to access the Analysis Toolbox by clicking on the Analyze button from the menu bar. The Analyze Data Box is divided into three sections. At the top, you can choose between Built-in Analysis or saved analysis. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to look through the built-in analysis option. Beneath that is the Which Analysis box. Within this box is a comprehensive list of statistical and mathematical analyses for your data. Not only can you carry out column statistics, grouped analyses, survival analyses, parts of the whole, etc., but you can also do simple transformations, normalizations, transpositions, and working out fractions of total. It is worth noting that no matter what format your data is in in the table, the analysis window will look the same, and it is up to you to select the correct analysis. Did you know, for instance, that within the column analyses list, not only can you do the standard T and ANOVA tests, but you can also look at frequency distribution, normality and log normality test, as well as creating simple descriptive statistics of your data. Once you have chosen your test, in this case we're going to do a two-way ANOVA, you then move to the right-hand side and choose which data sets you want to analyse. If you've created a particularly complicated data table consisting of more than just the data for a single experiment, you may need to deselect or select multiple data sets. Each data set is based on a column of data. So on your data table, group A, group B, group C, etc. appear down here as individual data sets. Once you've selected your data set, simply press OK. You then get your parameters window. Each statistical test will have its own individual parameters window. Some may have multiple tabs, such as this two-way ANOVA box, but others may have more simple selection. Once you get to this step, step two, you must choose your parameters according to the hypothesis and the experiment you have carried out, choose the options you want, and press OK. Every analysis within PRISM will generate a results panel. This is the results for our two-way ANOVA. You can copy these data, paste them into layouts or other pages, or simply file for later interpretation. Step four, of course, is interpreting your data. The interpretation of your data set will depend upon the analysis you have undertaken. Descriptive statistics, for instance, don't require very much interpretation, but a repeated measures three-way ANOVA with multiple post hoc tests might take a little longer to get your head around. It's worth going through each of these steps. Step 1, select. Step 2, set your parameters. Step 3, run your analysis and access your results. And Step 4, interpret your results for each of your analyses you need to carry out for your experiment. Remember, GraphPad Prism isn't just for doing statistical tests. It is worth exploring the analysis toolbox to see what else it has to offer. 